Hey cuties! So today I'm going to be doing a two-in-one video. First I'm going to be doing a haul on a bunch of eyelashes that I got from loveeyelashes.com which I'll put in the description box down below I'm being stared at. <laughs> and then at the end of this video I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to apply false lashes. So let's just get on with the haul. Woo! Why are you looking at me? So the first eyelashes that I got from Love Eyelashes are these ones and they are not in here because I'm wearing them right now. These are my all time favorite lashes. I used to just love the e.l.f. natural ones, but these stole my heart. So these are what they look like. I got another pair. I should have just gotten all these pairs. These are the Red Cherry number no. 510s. They look really dramatic. That's because they are. They're so nice. And these are the lashes that I will be doing a tutorial on. I love lashes like this that are natural that you can bend because some can be really thick where you can't really bend the band to put them on and they kind of flip up. These are my favorite ever. Thank you, love eyelashes. They are maze balls. They look like this. Yum! More from Red Cherry. These ones in number 202. These ones to me are the more dramatic version of the 510s. These are beautiful and huge. Number 62. I feel like I'm gonna look like a pixie in these. Number 118. And I feel like these are the exact same lash. Wait, can somebody let me know what the difference is? These may be a little bit more spaced out, but these are basically the same. They are the same. They're the exact same. They're the exact same. Well, what's different? These ones are thicker. These ones are... Apparently these ones are thicker. Wait, which ones? The same. Then I got a little bit of dramatic ones from Red Cherry. These ones are good times and they have like a, a pretty, pretty pink, like Barbie pink band on there. Little pretty. These ones are pretty natural and these are in D slash 005 and they look like this with a bunch of gems. And the last ones from Red Cherry are my favorite. They're like party lashes, D slash 603. And they look like this. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wear these the next time I wear lashes because these just look like a good time. And also a lot of people ask me if you can just wear lashes once. It does depend on the lashes, but I usually use them up to maybe 15 times, even though people say to use them up to 10. If they are a good quality pair of lashes, you can get a lot of usage out of them. And there's a guy right behind you. He's just standing there. Why didn't you get him? Next ones are some lashes that I've never tried before. And these are the butterfly lashes, which I think are really really gorgeous these ones are in number 107s oh my gosh these are beautiful i love lashes that are really long but aren't really that thick and dramatic so they just give you a lot of length i love that and i also cut these almost right in half because if i wear the full lashes i feel like it's really really dramatic and fake but if i just wear them sort of like on my outer corner as much as possible they look way better in my opinion so just cut them down to the size that you want next ones are kind of like a shorter version of those and these are number 205s which look like this and then the last butterfly ones are some really pretty ones i keep saying that to every one of them these are 106 they're like pixie lashes again oh Two pairs of creme or cream lashes. I've never heard of these before. These ones are my favorite. These are EXO and they're crisscross. And if you can see that, there's a glitter band on the top there. So it's very, very subtle. Like if I wear a very neutral look and just have this, it's gonna be like pop and sparkle. The next ones are 118. These to me look like really good quality lashes. Like they're gonna stick on your eye very well. And I use the duo lash glue if you're wondering. I cannot wait to wear these. Four pairs of NYX lashes. Now a lot of people don't really know where to find NYX in general. So if you are looking for NYX or NYX, it is on loveeyelashes.com and I got some really nice ones. One pair of the special effects ones. These are really nice cat eye side swept and they have gems right there for some drama. These ones are very, very pretty. These are really subtle, really thin, but they have a few diamonds right on the outer corner there. Love these. These ones are really dramatic. They look like that. I don't even know what these are gonna look like when I put these on. And then the last ones, my bestie wore, so they look like this. So I have to take them out to show you guys. Oh, I forgot to tell you what numbers they were. Oh well, my editor already probably told you guys. But these ones are number 126 in Guilty Pleasure, and they look like this. And as you can see, she cut them down to fit, and they're just completely glittered out. And she looked absolutely beautiful in them. If you saw us at the X, or if you follow her on Instagram, which you should, it's right here. Mm-hmm. Two pairs of Stardell lashes. I've heard of these. They remind me a lot of the Red Cherry, but I've never use them. These ones are in 113, just like the average ones that I love, just really long and dramatic. And number 82s in these ones are really pretty. These ones remind me of the e.l.f. dramatic ones. So pretty. You're gonna see a pattern. Like my lashes, what I like is I either like glitter on them or I like them like long and 
dramatic. These ones don't have a brand name, not that I can see, but these ones are black light ones. I really wanted to try some dramatic black light ones. And these are like a neon green tips, if you can see that there. So they're black and they have neon tips. So that if you're under a black light, just the tips of your lashes will be glowing. I wonder if it would work if you went to bowling, like glow bowling. Does anyone do that anymore? I love bowling. I'm gonna wear these out bowling. And I got two pairs of lash addiction lashes, which I've never heard of before. These ones, I I liked the name of these, that's why. This one's in Triple Trouble, which are the most natural ones that I got. They just look like this. They'll give you just a little bit of length to your natural lashes, which I really like. I, mean, I don't really want to wear fake lashes, but I do want a little bit of some, oops. And then these ones are in Shake It, which are also um, quite natural as well. That look like this. And then the rest of the eyelashes that I got were all from Ardell, one of my favorite eyelash brands ever. I did get three or two of the Runway. I've never tried these before. And I got them both in Claudia. So I just got two pairs of the Claudia and they look like this right here, just very pixie-ish as well. I saw these on, I forget which beauty guru rocking these and I loved them. And then a pair of the Edgy, which are in number 406, which go kind of thin on the inner corner and then go thicker on the outer corner. Corner, so it can give you just really thin kind of what I do with dramatic lashes is I cut them in half So it's my lashes and then dramatic so these are probably pretty much exactly what I do So I really wanted to try these and then the last four are from their natural collection Which I don't know why they call them natural because half of these aren't natural at all They're the most dramatic ones that I got so these two are the laces and the whole reason why I got these is from one of my good friends on YouTube blonde some doll from NJ for what? blonde some doll for NJ why why did I just completely screw that up? She rocked these and I love them. They look so good on her. She's beautiful. They look so intimidating, but she just rocks them so well. They're the laces. Oh, so I got two pairs of these that look like this and I cannot wait. Beautiful. So long. Thank you, Trisha. And then I got some of the Demi Loveys. I've actually used these ones before. The only ones that I've used previously to using these and love them. They're a little bit crisscrossed and sort of like not perfect, which I really like. And the last pair are the Demi Pixies. And those ones look like that. I don't actually really like these, but whatever. Okay, so the very last thing that I got in this haul are two eyelash cases, which I have been wanting eyelash case for like a year and I can't find them anywhere and no one loves me enough to buy them for me. So I got them, they look like this, they're so Oh, adorable. It kind of looks like, I don't even know what this looks like. I, you know, merp. So it looks like this. You can put your eyelashes in here. You can, I could probably put multiple eyelashes in here. And then here you could put half lashes, or you could probably shove some full lashes in there, but that looks like that. I did get two of them, love these so much. Thank you, love eyelashes. Go check them out, they're absolutely beautiful, and I got just a ton of lashes that I'm in love with. So now on to the tutorial on how I apply my false lashes, because it was requested, and I thought, why not just make this a two-in-one, because I have been slowing down on my video game, so I'm back at it. Here you guys go, thank you so much. These are the Red Cherry 510 lashes. I have already pre-worn these, so I've already cut them down to fit my eye, which now you can do as well. I peel off the extra glue that I used from last time. If these are fresh lashes, you can skip this step. And then I just bend them to form the shape of my eye so that they're not just like straight across and will lift up. They'll bend to the shape of my eye. Using dual lash glue in dark tone, placing a thin layer across the band just as so. And then I do two little dots on the corners so the corners can stick. And now we want the glue to be tacky, not wet and not dry. We want it to be sticky so it can actually stick and adhere to our eyes. So all I do is I wiggle it about and I blow air on it until it's tacky. So about 30 seconds to a minute. I like to actually apply my lashes with tweezers. I find that they work the best because I do have long nails and this just gives me a lot of control on where to place the lash. First, I place the middle of the lash where I want my lashes to be like this. I grab the outer corner with my fingers and I just find the place and where I want it to go and I'll just stick it on there. Then for the inner corners, I'm gonna take my tweezers and then just pull it down and stick it onto my natural lash. Then I just pat them down all over, make sure everything is stuck and secure, and I kind of just flare them out like that, making sure the inner corner is very secure so it doesn't lift up during the day. Giving them a final pat, and those are the lashes being applied, and they look like this. 
I love them. There's the before and after. The one on the left does not have any lashes and the one on the right has lashes. I do the same thing with the other side. Just looks like that. I'm in love with these eyelashes. Oh my gosh, Red Cherry is my baby. Lastly, I put a thin layer of liquid liner over the lash band just to sort of clean it up and make it more smooth and make it blend in and not so fake looking. And this is the finished product. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and loved it and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.